is should we decriminalise marijuana in New Zealand? Oh, I think the argument for full legalisation is so powerful, we don't even need to talk about <laughs> it. Um, where, I, where, I, where have I heard that before? No, but seriously, so I think we all know. I think we all know in this room what the answer is. What is we, that answer, Louis? Well, not just decriminalisation, full legalisation. OK, we let's go to Kerwin. All right, New Zealand First has two simple things about this. We believe in a binding referendum, and we shall trust the people of New Zealand uh, to make the right call and then live by it. Second, more importantly, we believe that uh, the counselling, the addiction side of this is where the focus actually needs to be. That's All why right. New Zealand First Youth is putting forward a remit to reverse national savage cuts to counselling okay, for Okay, uh, before we get to the rest of the panel, um, just we'll have a binding referendum in the audience. Hands up those who think that we should uh, decriminalise marijuana. Hands yes. up. Damien, what do you reckon? Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a solid probably 80%, I'd say. Um, just, just for a show of hands, who thinks we should keep the law as it is? Personally, I support legalisation. But um, that's not the party line. The party line's on decriminalisation, which I think is a sensible approach. So um, why, do you, why do you support, why do you go that step in supporting legalisation? I don't think prohibition is the best way to change people's behaviour, um, necessarily, um, and particularly with marijuana. We've got a prohibition on marijuana currently. It doesn't work. People still smoke it. OK, legalising. Jessie, what, what do you think on this? Um, I'm very supportive of decriminalising marijuana. I think it's important that and we... And legalising? Um... The Labour Party treats this as a conscience issue. I would probably legalise it if I was in charge at the moment, but um, I'm not. Um, but I do. <laughs> you may be one day. I do think in it's a couple important of months that we make that transition to treating drugs. Well, three, in the future, not the couple tre of months. <laughs> treating drugs as a health issue and not a cr criminal issue. I don't think the majority of this room should be criminals because of smoking marijuana. Do your circle of friends smoke marijuana? Or? I'm, I'm sure most of them have. Yes. Right. Sean Topham, Young Nats, where do you stand on this? Uh, the Young Nats don't have a formal position, but I'm all for decriminalisation, and I don't think legalisation would hurt. I've done it a are couple you, of times. You, a couple of times. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> once or twice. Yeah, which, it's not Which so means bad. for a Young Nat, that means about 100 wow. or really 200 going. times. Oh, we'll see. Where, we can't walk, us, walk us through the first time you did it. Um, I <laughs> hotboxed the Camry. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. You what? I hotboxed the car. Yeah, the Toyota Camry. Good times. What does it mean? For some, is, it, is that a for slang? someone who lived in a flat that, in Dunedin that was named after Pink Floyd? Uh, <laughs> I think you know. I think you know. It's when you fill it up with smoke, like a Cheech and Chong movie, yeah, right? Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. right. And then how did you feel? Um, quite lightheaded. We had a good <laughs> night. <laughs> Let's go, let's go back to the audience as well. I want to hear more. Well, yeah, I've got an expert uh, here, Wallace. So I've got Dr. Jeremy McMinn, um, F R A N Z C P F A C H A M. That's not me, that's just the letters after his name. It's not me trying to spell something. Um, you are, which, which of the, I've got 17 different job titles for you. Which one, which one shall we use? I'm an addiction specialist. There you go, awesome. Capital and Coast, right? That's right, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, firstly, on the legal issue, now this is maybe not your area of expertise, but decriminalisation or legalisation? Well, one's a process towards the other, and I think that most doctors would support decriminalisation in the first instance. You have to be a little worried, these guys are great, but you have to be a little worried that if you go for legalisation, you start to get over promotion and marketing, and that's ruined alcohol and tobacco, so it might ruin cannabis. It, I mean, can, the, the best argument I can find potentially against legalisation, because there seem to be lots that, that are in favour, is that more young people will smoke pot, and that's, and that's not a good thing. Well, it's difficult to see how many more people could smoke pot. Oh. <laughs> we are at such... I was, I was in Colorado a couple of months ago. We have more pot smokers per capita than the place where it's legal. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't stand to reason that there's going to be more people. In fact, with places that have then legalised or decriminalised, some of those places have looked as if they've got less smoking. And certainly, when you do get smokers smoking in a legalised or decriminalised situation, you can pick them up when it starts to go wrong. And that, that, that argument about seeing it in a health context is a really good one as opposed to a legal context. 